Hello everybody, it is Thursday and here is your math lesson for today. We're going to start off as we always do with our counting. Are you ready? Hopefully today I won't get muddled up. Okay, let's get started and use your fingers if you can. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Well done. Now, let's have a go at trying to play our game of counting tennis. Are you ready? I'm going to go, you start today, you can start with the number zero. Are you ready? Here we go. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, Thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-nine. Okay, well done. Did you get all right with that or did you get stuck sometimes? It's a bit fiddly, isn't it, when you go from 19 to 20 and 29 to 30. Let's move on though, shall we? Here we go. Let's have a think about what is one more. Here is the Numicon number four. What's one more than four? It is five. Here's the Numicon three. What's one more than three? It is four. And what's one more than two? We've got two. One more is three. Here we go. Now have a look at what this shape is. Can you tell me? And it's gone. What was that shape? Try and picture it inside your head, what it looked like. Can you tell me what the shape is? It was a triangle. Now, I've made this triangle a little bit different. So we've got three different lengths of the sides. We've got a short side, a very long side, and a long side as well. So we've got three straight sides. And how many corners? Count them. One, two, three. There are three corners. Have a look at this next shape. See if you can remember the name of it. What is this shape before it disappears? <sighs> I've made it a bit tricky for you now, haven't I? What's that name of the shape? It is an oblong, or you might say a rectangle. Let's have a look. There it is. I've turned it a little bit on its side there, haven't I? So it's going diagonal, but that is still a rectangle or an oblong. And I remember it's an oblong because it's a long shape. And have a look at it. It's got two short sides and two long sides. And remember, they're the opposite sides that are the same length. How many corners? It has got four corners. Last one. Here we go. Are you ready? See if you can tell me before it disappears. It is a circle that's right if you said circle well done here is a circle and look there are no corners on this circle there are no corners because it only has one side that goes all the way around and is it a straight side or does it have a different name or a different word it's a curved side that's right now here we are let's have a look how many in this five frame quick 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 there are three. How many in this one? There are 
five. How many in this one? There are two. There are two in this one, and you can subitize that really quickly, can't you? Now, have a go at trying to make four. Here is four on the Numicon. And we know it's four because it's got that those four circles in that pattern on a dice or a domino. And we're going to try and make four using some other pieces of Numicon. And I'm going to start with a two. So I've put the two on the bottom there. How many more do I need to make four? I need to put on another two. So two and two, that makes four. Here's four again. I'm going to try and make it in a different way this time. So I'm going to start with a three. What do I need now to make three become four? Can you see what's still not covered it up yet? I need the number one. And there it is. So I can make four with three and one. Now, let's have a go at trying to make five, shall we? So here's the number five piece. And if I start with the number three, what do I need to cover the number five? So I've got three and something else to make five. I need the two. So three and two, that makes five. Let's try it with another one, shall we? Here's the five. Let's start with the one. And what else do we need now to make five? We need one and four. There's the four. So we've got one and four. That makes five. So I'd like you to have a go at trying to make four and five. You don't need to have Numicon to help you. You might have some objects around your house. And I've said that maybe you might have pieces of dried pasta. You might have some toys and you can try and split them up into some different groups. So you might have five pieces of pasta. You put three on one side and two on the other. If you're doing it with four, you could have four pieces of pasta. You put two on one side and two on the other. Have a go and see in what different ways you can make four and five. And if you want, you could have a go at trying to write those numbers down for me. Or if you really want to get messy, have a go at printing them with some paint as well. You could do that with your fingerprints, couldn't you? All right. I'm going to leave it there because that's the end of our lesson for today. So I'll see you all again very, very soon with our next maths lesson. Until then, take care. All right. Bye bye.